The Seminole shot was conducted on May 14, 1956, on the Bikini Atoll in the Pacific Ocean. It involved the detonation of a 13-kiloton nuclear device that was placed at the bottom of a 27-foot-deep, 43-foot-wide water tank. The tank was constructed by drilling a borehole into the coral and rock of the atoll and lining it with concrete. The purpose of the Seminole shot was to test the feasibility of underground nuclear explosions and to gather data on the effects of such explosions on military structures and equipment. The device was designed to simulate a nuclear explosion that would take place underground, where the detonation would be contained by the surrounding rock and soil. When the device was detonated, it created a powerful shockwave that traveled through the water and into the surrounding rock and soil. The shockwave caused the water in the tank to surge upward, creating a dome-shaped cavity that collapsed inward and formed a crater. The resulting crater was 660 feet long and 32 feet wide, with a depth of 30 feet. The Seminole shot was part of Operation Red Wing, a series of 17 nuclear tests conducted by the United States in 1956 at the Bikini Atoll. The tests were designed to test new designs for nuclear weapons and to gather data on the effects of nuclear blasts on structures, equipment, and living organisms. The tests had significant health and environmental consequences, as they released large amounts of radioactive particles into the atmosphere and nearby waters, leading to increased rates of cancer and other health problems in nearby populations.